In this video, you will learn how to use SQL queries to monitor the MySQL database server using the Check MySQL Health plugin in Isinga. The SQL mode of the Check MySQL Health plugin allows you to send that exact SQL query to your database. I'll assume you already have an Isinga and a MySQL database server set up. I won't cover the installation of Isinga Master and Isinga Agent in this video, so please check out my other videos in the description below for those procedures. But I recommend that you follow my previous video on how to monitor a MySQL database so you can fully understand the configuration that I already have in this video. As a database administrator, a common task is to monitor the size of a database. For the purpose of this video, I will focus my examples on monitoring the size of the databases. Now let's get into it. The following query reveals the size of the MySQL database in megabytes. For Isinga to be able to access this information, we need to allow select permission for the Isinga user on the MySQL server. This is a MySQL statement that is granting select privileges on the MySQL database to the user Isinga from the host Isinga.lazy.test. Next, we need to go to Isinga server and modify the host object definition from the file mysqlmaster.lazy.test.conf with an additional dictionary definition. VARS database, MySQL, is a variable in the Isinga 2 configuration language. It is a dictionary that contains key value pairs. In this case, the dictionary has two key value pairs. MySQL underscore health underscore username is set to Isinga. MySQL underscore health underscore password is set to a password. This information is used to authenticate with the MySQL database when performing health checks. The MySQL underscore health underscore username is the username that will be used to connect to the database, and the MySQL underscore health underscore password is the password for that user. Next, we will be using an apply rule to loop over arrays and dictionaries. This is how to create a service check for each element in your variable. This Isinga configuration defines a service called db underscore size that is applied to each database specified in the host.vars database variable. The import a generic service directive tells Isinga to use the generic service template, which defines a set of default values for the service. The display underscore name variable is used to specify a custom name for the service, which includes the name of the database. The check underscore command variable specifies the check command to be used for the service, which is mysql underscore health in this case. The vars mysql underscore health underscore mode variable specifies the mode for the mysql underscore health check command, which is set to SQL in this case. This means that the command will execute a SQL query to check the health of the mysql server. The vars mysql underscore health underscore name variable specifies the SQL query to be executed, which is a select statement that calculates the size of the database. The vars mysql underscore health underscore name to variable specifies the name to be used for the query result, which is a mysql database size in this case. The vars mysql underscore health underscore units variable specifies the units to be used for the query result, which are MB megabytes in this case. The vars plus equals config directive adds the values in the config variable to the vars dictionary, allowing the service to use any additional variables that may be defined in the config variable. Finally, the assign where host.vars mysql equals equals true directive tells Isinga to apply the service only to hosts that have the mysql variable set to true. This allows the service to be selectively applied to only those hosts that are running MySQL. After saving the file, let's validate the configuration. Now restart Isinga. Let's check out the new service monitoring that we created in the Isinga web interface. As we can see here, Isinga is now monitoring the size of the MySQL database. But it's currently in a warning state. This is because we didn't set any threshold for this monitoring, and the default threshold is 1 megabyte for a warning and 5 megabytes for a critical state. 
we can change this threshold by adding the health variables in the host configuration file. Here we set the MySQL database to use a warning threshold of 4 GB and a critical threshold of 8 GB. Please change this as applicable to your setup. Now we validate the configuration again and restart Isinga. Let's check the Isinga web UI and see if the warning alerts have cleared. After the next check, we can see that the threshold has been changed to the settings that we want. And also, the warning alert is now cleared. In this next example, I'm going to monitor the standalone MariaDB server that I have running on my Isinga server. I'm currently logged in in my Isinga server which also serves as its database server as well. Now, log into the MariaDB server. And then grant the usage and select privileges on all databases and tables to the Isinga user on the local MySQL server. We can now exit MySQL because that is all that is required. Now let's create a single configuration that will define the service called MySQL Multidatabase. This service is designed to check the size of all databases on a MySQL host being monitored by Isinga2. It uses the MySQL underscore health check command and the MySQL underscore health underscore mode variable to specify that it should execute a MySQL select statement to retrieve the size of the databases. The size is then displayed in the MySQL underscore health underscore units specified in megabytes. The service is applied to all databases specified in the host.vars database dictionary and it is only applied to hosts that have the mysql underscore multi underscore database variable set to true. Then we need to modify the hosts file of the Isinga server. In this case, I'm just using the default file hosts.conf. At the end of the file, just before the closing curly bracket, add the following. This Isinga configuration sets a number of variables that are used to customize the behavior of the mysql underscore health check command. The vars mysql underscore multi underscore database variable is set to true, which tells the mysql underscore health command to check the health of multiple databases. The vars mysql underscore health underscore username and vars mysql underscore health underscore password variables specify the username and password to be used to connect to the mysql server. The vars database variable is a dictionary that maps database names to configurations. In this case, the vars database variable contains three key value pairs, one for each database. Each database configuration specifies a warning threshold and a critical threshold for the database size, which are used by the MySQL underscore health command to determine the status of the service. The MySQL underscore health command will check the size of each database and compare it against the configured thresholds. If the size of a database exceeds the critical threshold, the service will be marked as critical. If the size of a database exceeds the warning threshold but is below the critical threshold, the service will be marked as warning. If the size of a database is below the warning threshold, the service will be marked as OK. Now validate and restart Isinga. Now go to Isinga Web UI and check if Isinga is monitoring all three databases that we just configured. As we can see here, there are three databases that we just configured Isinga to monitor. Here is the size of the IsingaDB database, which is currently at 4 megabytes, and the MySQL database, which is currently at 3.5 megabytes.
The iSync that to check my SQL health plugin come in very handy and provide a set of options out of the box that help us in our database daily operations. In case you need to track a piece of data with no specific option in the plugin then you can write a SQL query to provide the missing data you need. That's all for now. Drop me your feedback and comments below. If this video helped you in any way, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.